Hi guys, so today I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I have found things that I've never found before at the Dollar Tree, so I'm really excited about it. There are some repeat items. I think most of it though is stuff I've never actually seen before. So let's go ahead and dive in because there's a lot here, and before I know it, this video can turn into like 30 minutes. So let's go. Okay, first off the gate is going to be some paper towels. I don't always buy paper towels. I basically just use kitchen towels and I wash them just to kind of be more green. Um, sometimes I do get these. I really don't know why. Sometimes I just get them. So I recently just did a Halloween candy haul from the Dollar Tree. I'll link it down below if you're interested in it. Um, and I, I always do a second one. So I did this last year. I did two candy hauls and I was going to do a second one from Dollar Tree, but I only found one candy that I found interesting and that I liked. Um, so I think I'm going to do my second Halloween candy haul from Walmart, but this is what I got from Dollar Tree, which were these little taffy treats by the Despicable Me. You've got the little minions here. So this looks like a lot in here, but it's, it's two bags actually. So I got two bags. I opened one because I wanted to taste it. I like to taste the candy from the Dollar Tree before I put it in my Halloween candy bucket hand it out to kids because if I think it's disgusting, I'm really not going to hand it out. So the next items are repeat. I haul these all the time from Dollar Tree. However, I'm getting to a point where I feel like if I'm really all about saving money, I really need to probably look at Walmart one more time and see how many sandwich bags you get in a box and how much it costs and if that's a better deal than Dollar Tree. But otherwise, it's become a habit to get these at the Dollar Tree and it's a convenience because I'm I'm there more often than I am at Walmart, but you do get 45 and this time I got three. I have one put up, but I suddenly realized I'm like, why am I buying them one at a time? So I bought three this trip. All right, I saw some duct tape. I've seen the shoe one that I've seen on like Instagram and people hauling it. I saw it as well. Um, it was really, really cute. I just had no need for it. But if you're wondering what I'm talking about, there's this shoe like duct tape going around. Um, and I saw this one. I thought it was really, really pretty. It's a, like a paisley print. So this is the donut one from the Dollar Tree that I hauled a couple of weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago. Yeah, so this is by far my most favorite duct tape pattern from Dollar Tree. So yeah, really, really cute. The next things that I got are these hook and loop fasteners and I got a set in white and a set in black. So I love these. I use these on my planner projects all the time. I've noticed that they haven't carried the small little round ones that I've hauled before and I really love those. I wish that I could find those again. But this is what I found and it was in the tool section and tool bench is the little brand name that they have for the like car tool aisle. So these are squares. Um, but I do love the different color options, so I really like that, so I got one of each, and these are great. These are just great for crafting and all kinds of projects and stuff like that. So those are new, and I've never seen those hook and loop fasteners before. The next new things that I have never seen, and they've put out a bunch of new organizing trays and units and things like that, and I just was so blown away. So I got these two. And yeah, it's a three compartments organizer. I absolutely love this. I love how there's no like ridges. It's just like, just plain clear. There's no like, you know, ridges or whatever. Or there's, I don't know. I just like how clear that they are. And I think these are so great. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but it definitely makes me want to organize some sort of drawer system, probably in my kitchen or bathroom. Here is the next organizing drawer, and what I love about this one is it comes with a lid. And it's also a three compartment, and they're all equal size. And this one is wrapped in a plastic film. But I was like, are you kidding me? Um, I wish they were a little bit bigger, because if so, like a little bit longer and a little bit wider, because if they were, I would use this to store my washi in, which I'm still having some problems finding the best storage unit for my washi. Here is the next one. It's a vanity organizer. I don't know if you can see that. So gorgeous. Who is dying over this right now for one single dollar? And I guess it just is the right cube size for perhaps lipsticks. 
Yeah, that's what they have in the picture. Lipstick and mascara. I really don't know that my mascara would stand up easily. It'd probably be too much of a hassle. But how great is this? Here is the next organizer. It's basically the cubes on one side and then a bigger compartment on the other. These are bigger squares, so you would probably put what they have here is nail polishes, but here's the side view. Oh, I'm not done. Here's the next one. The next one has 13 compartments. They are smaller and look at that. Look at all the different variations they're giving us. Here's a long one right here. And then underneath you can kind of see better. Little rows of cubes. Amazing. I think this is the last one that I got and it's a three step organizer. So I'm guessing they mean by the little tier steps. So really cool that they have all of these different like compartment, you know, organizers and options. Here's the back. So you can kind of see, so there's like four little cubes you could put lipsticks in and then like brushes or little jewelry or whatever, or you really don't even have to use it for makeup and jewelry. You could probably use this for crafts as well. The next three things I got because I thought the packaging was so adorable. They look familiar. I don't even know if I've hauled them before or if I've seen them before. I know they carry stuff like this just in general, um, but I got these three little chopsticks. How adorable are they? So they are color changing. Um, here, let me do this. They are color changing mood lip balms. And it also gives you a before and after of what the color is. So this one is a pepper, no, this one is a bubblegum flavor. And then here is the before and after color. So, but it's really cool that it changes color and the little packaging with the little squiggly eyes is completely adorable. Do you see that? So cute. <clears throat> so next is the little cow and he is a blueberry flavor and he goes from blue to pink. Super adorable. And then this little chickadee is cotton candy flavor and he goes from a hot pink to a baby pink. So I would I can't even decide which packaging is the cutest, honestly, because I think they're all so darn adorable. Now I have a full bag of like planner stuff, which is amazing because I really haven't seen anything new there. So we're going to be looking at a bunch of new items. But first, I got some fuzzy socks. I never really bought socks at the Dollar Tree before, maybe once or twice in the past but I've really been into this fuzzy sock thing. My daughter has a ton and I'm constantly borrowing them. So I figured, you know what, maybe I need my own set of fuzzy socks. And you guys, the ones at the Dollar Tree right now, so far just by touching it seems like really, really nice quality. So I'm really hoping these are gonna just really compare really well because if so, I'm gonna go back and buy a bunch of them because they have so many color options. But here's a plain black and then here's one with what is he, a panda? I don't know what he is. I don't know what he is. He looks like a dog, maybe. Maybe he's a little dog. Um, he doesn't look like a cat. His ears are like rounded. I can't really tell what he is. It doesn't really say. It's adorable. I know that. So something I saw that was new were these really large clips, little clothes clips. And what you can really do with these is like use them as a little picture frame. You can slide in a little picture and it will hold it and it can sit on your desk. I thought these were really cute. I love this pattern. They had others and I'll attach photos of those as well. But this is new. I've never really seen it before and it says it's a clothespin memo holder. So I saw these pens. These are very reminiscent of the ones that they had like last year which had like I don't want to say crystal ball, but they were more like clear, like rhinestone diamond effect. So these are really cool and new because they're not clear. You can't see through them, but they are really um, colorful and they've got little rough edges or whatever, little bumps or whatever. And these were the only three color options that I saw. They are really pretty. I just don't necessarily like the whole color combo of them together, but yeah. Really cool. Oh, and then here are the tips. I like how they've safely secured them. All right, so this next item is kind of bizarre, but at the same time, I think if they only put out more, this would actually be really cute. And they're called pickup pairs. 
So it's a little memory game, and I love memory game, by the way. It's so fun, as a matter of fact, it makes me want to play. But to be fair, you know, this is probably just too much of an easy level. And I didn't get it for the, the intended use. I didn't get them for the memory game aspect. I got them because I thought the little cards were so adorable that somehow, some way, that this could go into my planner as some sort of planner DIY, maybe as like a bookmark or even paper clips or just cute decoration because this fox alone is worth a dollar to me. Look how cute he is. These are just the most adorable little cards ever. And then here, oh my gosh. See, I mean, this really makes me wanna go back and get a couple more of these. They did have a different um, style. I think it was like zoo animals, but it wasn't cartoony. It was like actual real photos of zoo animals, um, but I didn't really like it that much. And then here's this one. Look at the raccoon. To die for, so if you're really into planner stuff, I think these would be really great for it. Look at the sheep. The sheep, so cute. The coffee cup is really adorable. And this one fell out, but it's little kitty and whatever that is. I don't know, a pig? But I'm telling you my next Dollar Tree trip, which will be this weekend, I'm gonna be on the hunt for this pattern and more. The next thing that I got were some sticker books. I haven't really got sticker books a while at Dollar Tree, so I thought that these little trolls were so adorable. And they had other patterns as well. Then I found some new sticker notes at the Dollar Tree, and these are the two patterns that I got. A green and a blue. They had a red pattern as well, but these were my favorite, so I didn't pick up the red. But amazing. Here is a new sticker set that I found from the Jot brand line. You get 12, and they are all white little pop-up flowers with like rhinestone embellishment. Super cute. They would be great for planners, car DIYs, planner, friend mail. I already said planner. All right, so new stickers and look what I found. Happy birthday banners and just banners in general that say nothing on them, which is very dupe-like to, I guess, the kind of banners you would buy from like Etsy sellers from like stickers. And they sell like the cute little banner stickers. You can put them over the weekend and say weekend. And so this is very great for your planner. Um, and I love the glitter aspect as well. I found a little matching birthday. I guess it kind of like goes together a little bit. So little birthday hats and balloons. The balloons are my favorite. And then I got three of these because if you know me, then you're not gonna be surprised that I got three of them. Look how cute the little cupcakes are. And they are pop-up, so adorable. I love all the glitter, the color, Combos are beautiful too. All right, and now all of this new stuff. I just was like, are you kidding me today? Are you kidding me? Um, this is a weekly sticky note. Look how long it is and it has Monday through Sunday. I don't actually use anything that would fit this long, but you can actually just cut these up individually and use them for like your Target dollar swap planner. You could use these for your happy planner. You can also do these to make your own uh, planner DIY inserts. And then here is a huge list pad. And I love this here. I love the design. It says to do. I guess I got two of them, didn't know that. And then you guys look at the little sticky note set. To die for, this says you rock. Really wish they didn't have that, but it's still really cute. Now the last couple of things are Christmas related. So I went in for some tin cans. This is a different Dollar Tree from the one that I hauled last. So two different Dollar Trees. And this one had a bunch of cute tin cans. So I picked them up. I recently hauled him in a mug from the other Dollar Tree. So it's kind of funny, like I said, some Dollar Trees carry more than others. So I never understood it. So he is really cute. I like the pattern on the side. So yeah, really cute. You can make cookies, you can store stuff. Um, here's this one because you know me. And then this one is probably my favorite. I just love the little cardinals and these are really more my Christmas colors. And they're still in the process of putting out Christmas stuff 
So I can only imagine the new stuff that I'm going to discover for 2016. Someone was texting me. Okay, so I got three sticker books. Really cute. Look at Santa. So cute. I don't know why I keep saying so cute today. I guess that's the best way for me to describe everything at the Dollar Tree. So cute. Look at Santa's Express. Love that. That's so whimsical and charming. I love that. Okay. So the very last thing are going to be gift bags. And let me tell you, I'm really excited about them. Really excited. So the first one looks like this. It says, his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Here is the side. Really beautiful. I love the scroll of glitter. And this one says, Peace on Earth. These would turn into really great planner covers as well. And these, okay, wait. Here's this one. All right, the last three. Obsessed. Obsessed. It's Santa. It's Santa and his workshop. So here's the first one. It's just, I guess, I wouldn't call it traditional, but just a very great overall picture of Santa Claus. He's got his little milk in his hands, and he's got his cookie, and all the detail of the dolls and everything, the toys, the tree, the rustic charm of this. I love this print so much. I, I honestly have to think of something that I'm going to do with these because I don't just want to use them for gift bags. Although I need to go back and buy doubles, triples because I do want to use some for like actual gift bags under the tree. Here is this print, you guys. Santa's making his list and he's checking it twice because that is so cute. He's got milk everywhere. Do you see the milk? here here so beautiful so beautiful i love just the whole decadency of it is de de decadency a word just the drapes it's so luxurious obsessed and the last print is probably my favorite look at santa and I love the touch of like little magic. Do you see the little magic right here from him painting on him? Love that. And this up here is actually his little vest, which I didn't even notice. And I love all the little touches of glitter. But what I love most of all about these prints is Santa himself. Very realistic. He's not like got the fake beard. He has an actual, This look. it looks like it's his. And he's got all his little letters. I mean, just... Bravo, Dollar Tree, bravo. Okay, guys, that's my Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know I rushed through some of this, but there was so much to share with you. I can't wait to go to the next Dollar Tree that I have in my area. I have about four. So the, these last two hauls have been two different Dollar Trees. So I'm gonna go to the other two and haul from there so that we can basically see all the different things I'm finding at the different Dollar Trees. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because there's gonna be some fall DIY coming up and some vlogs that I'm gonna put up on my vlogging channel. So if you're interested in that, I have a different channel called Crafty Girl Vlogs and I'll see you guys there. Bye.